Tigre Rising uh, is actually a citizens movement. I would like to look at it as a citizens movement. Uh, although it is a registered body uh, of uh, it's a citizens welfare group which is properly registered uh, with the registrar of property societies. But that aside, Budhigire Rising as a movement started uh, three to four years back, even before it was registered. You know, so there were a few like-minded, uh, you know, uh, residents who uh, partnered with each other, uh, myself, Srini, uh, along with a large number of volunteers. We, uh, when we first moved into this area, Budhigire Cross, it was uh, an area where there were, you know, no societies. Many of the societies were still upcoming. And, you know, uh, you, the kind of roads and the shops and the supermarkets and all here were not even existing when I first moved in uh, five, five years back, you know, I think around four years back. So we felt that, you know, there is a need for all of us as citizens to come together and address some of the development issues in our area, you know, and I'm not saying that these developments wouldn't happen, but when citizens come together, the development tends to get accelerated. You know, when we partner with the local, uh, you know, authorities as independent citizens, a lot of, uh, you know, matters get accelerated. So we came together unofficially, you know, and we still called ourselves Pudigere Cross Rising. Uh, and we took up several activities, welfare activities, a lot of which you must have heard. And last year we got registered and our uh, vision as Budhigare Cross Rising is primarily to work for the welfare of residents in and around Budhigare Cross, to create an awareness, you know, and create campaign for citizens' participation in uh, development. So we have multiple focus areas. So our focus is to create awareness and campaign for citizens under uh, the verticals of infrastructure, quality of education, uplifting the poor, uh, protecting the environment, and encouraging the spirit of social work among the residents of our area. And as I said, our vision is to create a model society where citizens actively come together, they participate, and they contribute to the development of the society. So if you see most of uh, the IT crowd and, you know, even my colleagues and friends, they have so much of amazing ideas, you know, but the, it's limited to WhatsApp. You know, they, we exchange ideas in our internal WhatsApp group. Hey, you know, why can't it be like that? Why can't it be like this? So our vision is, can we tap into the potential of these ideas and roll something on the ground instead of just limiting it to some comments on the social media? So our vision is, you know, you know, by through our activities, you know, maybe some small initiatives, large initiatives, we want to create that model community where the participation among the citizens is very high uh, in all fronts. So uh, that's that's you know uh, my view of Budhigere Rising and you know our our focus. Uh, over to Srini, if you want to add any thoughts, Srini. Basically, like uh, when we moved in, like if you see like the way the prestige, tranquility, our society was uh, uh, positioned along with other uh, societies, like for example, Pruksa and Sun Villas around, you can like literally say it, it was like an island in the middle of a forest. There was nothing around it, like other than trees and narrow roads and dark lit street lights. There were no street lights. Okay, let me not name a dark lit street light. There were no street lights. There was no proper system. There was no safety, security. There was no, like, you know, there was no police around, like, you know, people, there were chain snatchings happening around, there were accidents happening around, people are getting mugged. And uh, we also had certain issues, like even if you go to the panchayat and everything, even to even get one small paperwork done, we didn't know like whom to approach. And many people are complaining about some, you know, uh, there was some licensing uh, involved and everything, okay? So now generally, like Joji and me, one fine day, we were sitting and like generally talking, hey, Hey, what to do about this, man? Like, then we thought, like, listen, politicians come to us for like, you know, five years once or 10 years once or 12, two years once, okay? Why will they listen to us? They will only come to us and they'll come only during that period and ask, hey, guys, what do you want? 
okay they'll do some promises and i don't know what's the execution point at that point now we thought now let's leverage about our society our vote bank how many people stay here now we have a society flat of around 2630 flats okay so around 7000 residents now uh, next uh, society over here it has around uh, 500 uh, uh, villas so you can uh, accumulate around the uh, 500 in the sense thousand so we have a vote bank of close to uh, around uh, 9000 to 10000 voters so we managed to you know accumulate people and try to uh, approach the local uh, leaders to get work done what is the first work which is get to be done uh, to be done was like the first thing which we initiated was the kata campaign now everyone are complaining like you know you go to the panchayat they charge you like a huge amount for licensing charges and everything so we like why should we pay here end up with the kata through the kata we pay money to the panchayat we pay the property tax right so we are giving money to them why do we have to pay all this extra fees and everything so we started uh, demanding to our local leaders listen you get us the kata you take care of this licensing charges or whatever it is there behind it i don't know what's the politics over it but get it free of cost so one of our local leaders like roped in with us and you know he got these panchayat officials into our society and different societies around us and we created a uh, kata camps like nearly the first drive around 1200 owners benefited from this thing so that gave us the confidence to move forward so uh, like uh, then we this gave us confidence about unity like we know what you can achieve through unity and then we were like hey everything has a symbol like you know like we are grown up with comics right everything has a symbol like the, you know there is no uh, there is no bruce wayne he is a batman okay people know that there is a symbol behind that okay there is right. a symbol right so we wanted a symbol now what is the symbol going to be we thought like okay mandur shall we name it like you know mandur rising like white field rising then we told no okay budigire cross rising and many things came up so then finally we settled on uh, budigire rising it was first called budigire rising then eventually before registration we changed to budigire cross rising okay now i'll come to the part now we started pushing in for bus stops because people are standing in the sunlight and many senior citizens have uh, there been complaints of senior citizens painting in the sunlight and we got street lights installed because there were lots of muggings happening accidents happening and later on we moved into lake developments so we started roping in sponsors we started getting into csr activities and all such things like stage by stage we started moving now the funny part of this was it <laughs> the body consists of only joji me and one more person so how do we expand now then we started conducting uh, meetings society wise and uh, then finally they, we started planning to get registered and uh, so here we are we after that it's been like uh, uh, unofficially without registering we have been doing work for 3 years now post registration it's been like one year now every rwa we are looking at a, a clustered you know congregation of highly educated you know people who are financially i want you know if not extremely on the uh, richer side but financially well off you know so just think about it a society of 2000 if if every resident carves out 200 rupees every month you know let's say every two months imagine how much amount of money every two months we can be able to generate for doing good work you know so the amount of i did mention the food at doorstep initiative you know the kind of partnerships and the kind of uh, innovative models you can generate it wouldn't even cost 200 rupees you know to really you know offer some beneficial initiative to the poor needy and you know the essential section of the society and rws have a lot of potential here by partnering on these kinds of initiatives the second part is social uh, awareness on you know so for example we don't have street lights you know uh, and street lights are not happening due to whatsoever reason now we will get uh, we can get a more you know ability to pull the residents from an rwa society more easier than probably a, a colony where people are living so spread out because the message can be sent across to the rwa in a much more streamlined 
it's easy to reach every resident of the uh, rwa through you know social media groups by the right. you know common forums which is very different from a uh, village living or uh, living in a spread out manner you know in a gated community uh, social messages social awareness can be done much faster than probably any other setup so that's what i'm saying there's a humongous potential you know uh, for rws to get you know partner to partner with bodies like us to partner with uh, initiatives like us you know all both on the social front to drive the development of the area on the environmental side you know lake initiatives you know welfare initiatives if all these rws come together you know i i really think that the potential is you know uh, you know there's no limit to the the sky is the limit i would say as part of like uh, joji like uh, we should also like we point out that like the people living in such society they come from different walks of life you know one guy like for example joji is a scientist there'll be a guy who is an artist there'll be a guy who is a photographer there'll be a guy who is a environmentalist or someone who is a politician you know like all these guys all such minds imagine when they come together the strength and the aura which they create in like you know putting into like you know executing some ideas and getting some initiatives done na uh, it's like literally magical like you know i'll tell you like you know like uh, jodi forgot to cover one uh, thing which also made a huge impact it was so funny like you know like and uh, funny in the sense in a different manner we were uh, reaching out to the needy it was one of our initiative where we were distributing blankets to the people sleeping on the streets like during winters right so apparently uh, we were looking like this shady lot wearing sweaters and you know uh, coming up suddenly these people uh, lying on the streets suddenly we used to reach out to them hey there's a blanket for you and there's be like looking stars at us and they're like hey who's this guy it so happened suddenly one of the cops caught us hey guys what are you up to <laughs> we were like hey uh, listen we are distributing blankets to the uh, people oh okay okay i thought you guys were something else okay uh, you know what i'm great fan of such social work our area dcp she is a lady he told we were somewhere near contournment so he told like our area dcp she loves to do such uh, initiatives where we uh, give blankets to the people sleeping on the streets who are homeless people so he started accompanying to us and he was so sweet he was like giving us full protection taking around all these narrow gullies and you know uh, railway platforms and everything that was one of my favorite like favorite memories which i can say like uh, when we went on to the streets that to like you know 1 o'clock in the o'clock in the night right so that also was one of the good initiatives which we came across and uh, many things like that like imagine you have to develop a lake to develop a lake you need to you know hire jcbs labors uh, you know buy saplings and, you know you know uh, do lots of things how do you generate money for this one simple message hey guys we are developing this lake come let's join hands we need a minimum contribution of 100 or 200 even that minimum co- contribution of 100 200 or even 50 bucks na it runs into like you know 25 to 30000 we can hire a jcb we can buy saplings we can do lots of drive like so that's the power of you know living in a rwa okay like you know in a rwa sort of an environment like we have societies around now we are uh, currently when we moved in we were around uh, five societies today we are around nine societies and gated communities in this area yeah i had an experience you know uh, where i felt very impressed with one of the citizens whom i still don't know who it was on my way back from office there was a traffic jam you know and people were all patiently waiting and then the traffic jam, jam got eased up and when it eased up i realized that the traffic jam was it happened because one of the fellow uh riders or the what do you call drivers so an obstacle as a heavy stone or something uh, on the road he stopped his car in the middle of the road rather than navigating around that stone he took that heavy stone and pushed it aside you know to the median or to a more safer place and that 
four to five minutes resulted in a little bit of jam. But then initially I was thinking it's an accident. Then I started cribbing, you know, hey, what this fellow is doing. But when I came to understand what he did, I realized that we need more such citizens, you know, who just, you know, maybe in spite of all the, uh, you know, efforts, it might not have occurred. It might not have captured my eyes. My reflex would be to, you know, just navigate that big stone and just go. But this particular citizen, out of maybe hundreds of people who have driven that road, stepped out of his car, you know. He moved that obstacle and then he got back into his car and, you know, so this, I feel, you know, we need more such, you know, citizens in the, uh, in our uh, country, you know, or in our state. Only then, you know, a lot of things can improve. So we can, as you said, we can crib about potholes, but how many of us are doing something about it? You know, I did, I am aware of the initiative of uh, by Potol Raja. And I'm very impressed with the work they do. You know, many people talk about potholes. They put, they pass the blame on the government. They say that, hey, you know, road authorities are not doing bad quality work, bad quality work, there is corruption, you know. But then the question to them is, so what are you doing about it? You know, if there is, you know, a pothole, other than talking, what are you doing about it? So I always appreciate any citizen who does something about what he is talking about. You know, we talk about corruption, okay. Can you take up that role and, you know, can you execute it? You know, we talk about, uh, you know, uh, our netas, you know, uh, who are doing that or doing this. My question to them will be, okay, fine. You uh, take up that neta's role. You, you know, try to show the citizens how you can do it better. And that's when our society will start changing. We are having, if at all there is a complaint that, you know, our netas are not doing well. That is only because good people like you are not taking up those positions. Right? Why are you not taking up those positions? You should, you know, come forward and participate in these kinds of activities and take up the roles of leadership. And that's when the society will change. Uh, so, right now, what's on our plate is the pandemic situation. What next? We will see. But our vision still remains the same. You know, we want to create a movement of fully aware citizens, you know, who can contribute to the society. You know, we, wa we want to create that movement. So the moment we see another hundred people coming forward, participating with us or doing something similar, that's when we feel that we have achieved something. The major three things, which is like literally, you know, it's like a ticking bomb on our head. So these are, which are like the STP water outlet, power fluctuations, roads, yeah. So these are the three things which we have to like get it sorted as soon as possible. And uh, we're also demanding for, you know, like uh, CCTVs in our areas at uh, very uh, strategic points. So this will deter people from, you know, who are doing all into all this muggings and chain snatching, everything that comes into the thing. And plus we are trying to get in some, uh, as uh, like Joji would have mentioned, we are trying to, you know, uh, do more things which can be very helpful to people during COVID. What are those things? Like, I, I, I agree, it's food, then it's like ration kits and everything. Other thing which can be really helpful is like, you know, a common ambulance, okay, which is there and there's a common dedicated uh, hotline number only for our area, Mandur, currently we are working. If this works as a, like a pilot plan, if everything works well, we would like to obviously suggest it to others. And many other things like this, but these are the main ticking big ticket issues you can call it. So these are the things which are doing.